Hi guys. Happy Sunday with Aiden. So, didn't get to do a video yesterday. Obviously. Very burnt. Sunburned. The sun and me don't mix anymore. So. Anyways, how did your guys' weekend go? Did you guys do anything fun? Anything at all? Mm-mm. Mm -mm, I didn't either. But today was a very good day. Well, it's just 118 right now, but we got in the mail today Joss paper. Which I've already done. I've done three. Which is very cool. My Naya. Thank you. I love it. No wonder you tell me to wait on buying it. So, alright, a little brief overview of Joss paper. Which I know all of you should know, or you don't know. So it's just, I just did three outside and it was pretty, just, cool. Very, very relaxed now. So, all you need to know about Joss paper. So, it is, the burning of Joss paper is a tr essential custom of the Chinese. So they burn it for their um, ancestors all the time. So it is a practice that I believe to send money and the material wealth to your deceased relatives and friends. So we respect, honor, and love our deceased. And that is why most of the practices still exist. So, those are pretty cool. I mean, it just, I don't know, a warming in the heart. It, it, that's what that feels like after burning that. And there's so many different kinds. I mean, it, it's crazy. So they have like heaven and hell ones. I mean, it's crazy. Okay, so if you are keen, whenever you are in China, you will notice small shrines built at the sides of the house walls or outside shops. They normally have loads of fruit and incense. Now, these are the places where the tradition of burning joss, pap joss papers take place. So, Okay, so what is joss paper? You may call them joss papers, ghost money, or spirit papers. I call it spirit money is what I thought it was, but that's what I keep calling it. So they all refer to the same thing, the Chinese paper offerings. So, they are paper bleh, objects made from coarse bamboo paper or rice paper and used to appease the dead for transformation, uh, prosperity, wishes, payment of spiritual debts, and fertility, among other purposes. So, I think somebody on the other side is very happy right now with me. Very happy very cool. So the papers are decorated in different ways. It all depends on the purpose of the Joss paper. For example, the tradi traditional Joss paper for ancestor worship is usually decorated using a square of gold or silver, fo silver foil to represent the money, uh, stamps, symbols, and embossing, among others. On the gold square is a portion where you can write your wish for the wishing purpose Joss, Joss paper. Okay, so what I did was I took the paper, this is exactly how, uh, Naya, how you told me, so I folded it kind of over once towards me, and then again, and then burnt it, and it turned kind of, it, it actually, in, in my little, uh, burning bowl, it actually, each paper kind of just, <clears throat> it, it burnt very odd. It was a very odd burn, so it just kind of, the, the ashes literally just kind of circled around and flew out, so it was very cool. Um, so, alright, I did not know you could uh, write on the gold, on the backs of those, the, the wish. So the other type is the money kind of joss paper, which is known as hell bank notes, okay. The traditional, the traditional kind has a bank of heaven and earth seal, while others resemble the legal tender from various countries of the world. This is what's really strange. Last night I was going through all of uh, my different coins, and I actually found 20 cent, yeah, 20 cents from 1975 Hong Kong coin, and it actually has some of the different Chinese symbols on them. I don't know if you guys can see it. Very odd. And it's just, it's, I don't know. It's very different, a very different type of 
coin. So I thought that was pretty weird. Pretty, I mean, synchronistic right there. Very synchronistic, which I like. So. Alright, so the last uncommon kind is the type that resembles the luxuries of material wealth that the deceased either had or not. So they can come in form of just paper cars, just paper houses, just, just paper TV screens, among others. Alright, so we're getting into the uh, folding, the origami, all that, which is really, really neat. Right now, the origin of the Joss paper. So, Joss paper invented dates back to the 6th dynasty's time. Wow. It's crazy. So, this is when life was very difficult in ancient China. Most of the Chinese were farmers, but would toil and toil and still get no produce. Aww. So, for this reason, they opted for a method that would lift them out of poverty. So, this saw the beginning of the burning of Joss paper. Pretty neat. Pretty cool to be literally actually taking part in this kind of practice. This ancient of a practice, and I didn't realize how ancient this was. Alright, so, <clears throat> the paper offerings, according to archaeologists, began about 1000 BC. The money imitations were left in the tombs and must have been offered to, the appe to appease the dead. Oh my god, I have so many ideas running through my head right now. Furthermore, it is said that when an uh, emperor died in the ancient days, his men were killed so that they would go on and continue working for him in the spiritual realm. Hmm. I like that, kind of. However, as time went by, people felt that this was inhumane, and they, therefore, began burning Joss paper. The Taoists began making a human effigy using Joss paper to represent the emperor's servants in the afterlife. Now that is really neat. The Chinese I know, uh, it, from all the obviously, everything, every movie, you, they are always very respectful for their dead. Very respectful. And they have so many different kinds of ways of just, I, I think it's amazing. It really is. So, alright. Where do I go? Oh. To date, the burning of joss papers is done at the temples, uh, crematoriums, a funeral, funeral and grave sites. It also happens during the the Qingming Festival, which comes around fourth to sixth of April. Today's the seventh. Wow. Is it April? Yeah, it is April. And the Hungry Ghost Festival, which occurs between August fourteenth and September twelfth which is my birthday, and that is your birthday as well, my Virgo queen. So the importance of burning in Joss papers. So, alright, this is really, really interesting. I love this. So the Hungry Ghost Festival is the time when the deceased come to Earth to seek food. So the burning Joss paper ritual helps to um, absolve uh, the suffering ghosts. It's, uh, it is the duty of the living to make sure the souls of the dead are satisfied. This way that they, they wait. This way they, they, leave the living alone or become their guardian angels. This is perfect. Um, they help ensure that the deceased have a good afterlife. So I kind of see this taking part in Egypt, Egyptian uh, Heka. That kind of ties together. So the importance of the afterlife. So this is why we include the joss paper burning during funerals. Most religions believe that there is a life after death, therefore this practice helps to maintain a good relationship with our ancestors. I like it. I did burn one for my one of my ancestors, um, the Jade King and my, my Jin. So, in China, most temples have large furnaces outside that are used for the burning of Joss paper ritual. What are those things called? It's like an outdoor fireplace. It's like an oven almost. I don't remember what those are called. Um, not a pergola. I don't know, but it, they are really cool looking. Very big in Denver when I was there in 2009, but very cool. Alright, um... So they, they have the furnaces. Okay, this is believed to bring good fortune to society. So you are expected to make your paper offerings, but never ever use real money as burning real money brings bad luck. 
and it's illegal. So they are used when making wishes and honoring the gods, ghosts, and deities. So the most important use of Joss paper is that the fact that it helps the living remember their dead ones, and thus maintaining a respectful relationship. Relationship. So you see, all of the cultures in the world, the Chinese, are among the few who take time to take care for their dead. They do. They are very, very apt on taking care of their dead and making sure everything is perfect for them. It's very amazing. So as Chinese, we believe that those in the afterlife have similar needs to the living. Alright, so this is very uh, intertwined with Egyptian cosmology and faith and religion. So, Therefore, the Joss paper offerings are used to pay off debts, partake in trade, and basically make life easier in the spiritual realm. So where are the Joss papers used? So unless you are a Chinese Asian, you may not know most of these facts. So Joss papers are used in various occasions. The uses are unique, are all unique in their own way. Um, it's right to assume that those who have uh, who have the shrines within their homes can burn the Joss at, you know, at whatever time they choose. So there are those who practice the ritual on specific occasions, while others wait for family gatherings or to do it on a day-to-day -day basis. So at funerals, Note that the Joss paper or ghost money are basically the currencies used by those in the spiritual realm. The belief that is there is a spiritual bank from which the spirits can withdraw money for their use. So the offerings are done at the Joss paper squares. <clears throat> the dead should never arrive the other realm empty-handed, according to Chinese beliefs. Thus the burning of Joss papers and household essential like clothing, jewelry, electronics, ensure that they remain comfortably happy. Pretty interesting. When one passes on, the life doesn't end there, obviously. The Chinese continue to celebrate their birthdays and death anniversaries as though they were alive. That's kind of how, that's basically how it is in most um, occult, you know, practices and religions. Uh, ceremonial magic, uh, hoodoo, voodoo, traditional witchcraft, witchcraft. I mean, almost any religion. So. Okay. Um, so we actually hold parties. Okay, so this is tying into uh, Dia de los Muertos. So, parties prepping our deceased favorite meals and sharing stories about them during this time just paper is burnt. That is really neat. That's really cool. I mean, it's just very, very respectful. Alright, the... Uh, the Yingming Festival? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Burning of Joss paper is a part and parcel of this day. In our previous article, we actually mentioned that there is the burning of incense and offerings made during the process. The offerings are mostly to appease the dead and usually involves the Joss paper offerings. Alright, so that's cool. I love it. Now we have a Hungry Ghost Month. So I think this is this month. This is another festival of the burning of Joss paper is done to calm the restless spirits, especially of those without loved ones. It is a time to feed the hungry souls as you venerate them. And then we have it's a day-to-day -day activity, which I could see myself being do doing uh, daily, you know, burning of the jaws paper. So some Chinese use this ritual to remember their loved ones. Um, every so often, it is also done to bring good luck to their businesses. In festivals like Chinese New Year, it is used to fondly rem remember the loved ones. So you will notice that there is an increase in the sale of Jaws paper just before Qingming Festival and Hungry Ghost Festival. So it is easy to find Jaws papers in China, and especially Sheng Wan uh, District in Hong Kong. However, okay, that's where that coin is from, Hong Kong. However, most people don't know that when you are in the other parts of the world, you could order your Joss papers from Amazon. So that is really cool. So, 10 Joss papers to buy from Amazon. One, you get 300 pieces, piece the Chinese Joss paper collection in three designs, Hell Bank Notes for Funerals, the King, uh, King Ming Festival, and the Hungry Ghost Festival. So this kind of Joss paper is suitable for funerals, ancestors, birthdays, 
uh, King Ming, quick King Ming festival and a Hungryos festival, among other holidays. The 300 sheets save you the trips to the shops every so often. Um, and I have a lot. Thank you. So, the sheets are made to um, emulate the U.S. dollar. So, Chinese yen and the bank of the heavenly, oh, and the bank of the heavens simultaneously. So, while it has no cash value on earth, obviously. The Chinese believe that the Joss papers are valuable in the spiritual realm. Which I love. I love that. It's amazing. So we have... Okay, the second one is Z-Star Chinese Joss paper. Heaven banknotes. <coughs> perforated pot, pe perforated uh, paper money. Leave a good name for prosperity for funerals. The King Ming Festival and the Hungry Ghost Festival. Pack of 35 gold. So these papers are made from either white or gold bamboo paper. No, that's not mine. The papers are burnt to provide money and material goods in the afterlife. It is used during funerals, ancestors' birthdays, and festivals like King Ming and Hungry Ghost Festivals. A pack contains 35 pieces of Jaws papers. That measures about 9 by 7 inches. So, now we have number 3. 400 piece Chinese Jaws paper heaven and hell blank note collection in 4 designs. Alright, this is what I have. So these notes come in different designs, and each design has 100 pieces in a pack. So, it is used to appease the Hell Gods. Oh, I like that. By giving them uh, monetary distractions to live the living alone. To leave the living alone. They're also used to re also used in requesting for blessings and prosperity of the living. So these papers will ensure the loved ones are comfortable in the other realm, as they are able to take care of their needs using the money sent to them in this form. Number four. We have 100 piece Chinese Joss paper, money large size, hell bank note, 100 billion. Uh, 9 by 6 by 4 by 7 inches. So this is the traditional Chinese Joss paper money is used for funerals, ancestor birthday, and festivals like King Ming festivals and the Hungry Ghost Festival. It resembles the traditional feng shui. Oh, Zakai Jinbao? and is decorated with the Jade Emperor's image. They like, they like other Joss paper money, provide money and material goods for those in the afterlife. So five, Chinese Joss paper, gold foil, longevity pack of 100. This is what I have, I think. So this item is made from bamboo paper and is a, has, and a square of gold foil used to decorate it. Um, this is a character that is used uh, for those who wish for wisdom, prosperity, and smooth sailing. How perfect. Okay, yeah, you could use it um, as use it as it is, or fold it to gold or silver in gods. Okay, and further, uh, and further provides family members with money and material wealth in the spiritual realm. The 100 sheets will be used during funerals, ancestors' birthdays, and festivals. We have six valued trade, 60 piece. Just paper held bank blank note, ten billion dollars, seventeen point two inches by ten point six inches assorted. So these are Chinese just paper heaven hell notes. So it resembles the legal the legal bank notes, and has been used since the late nineteenth century. Wow. So although they resemble the bank notes, they have a sole purpose to be used um, as burnt offerings to the deceased. Um, the burning of the papers to hell gods is essential to ensure that they are satisfied and therefore giving peace and protection to the living. I like that. Um, a pack contains 60 sheets and it features the image of the presiding monarch of heaven and Taoism. Alright, now we have seven. Chinese gold jewelry joss paper box set with heaven passport. Okay, this is neat. Um, another modern form of Jaws paper that is made from folded paper and the gold bar co bar's color. The paper is suitable for the various religious festivals that help appease the dead and is also used for decoration purposes. So, uh, these are the traditional kind and most common ones. Their sole purpose is for ancestral worship and could be used to make wishes too. So they are made using bamboo paper then decorated with gold or silver in the middle. 
you can fold them into ingots or just burn them as they are. So they are 360 pieces, which means you can burn them as frequent as you wish. Alright, now we have number 9. This is an even bigger one. Valued Trade, 49 piece incense. Paper Joss paper, um, high grade colorful with gold foil. Size small for ancestor praying. 7.5 inches by 7.5 inches blue. So this is a high grade Joss paper with beautiful gold foil. It is blue in color, and it is small in size too. The Joss paper is offered to the Hell God as a way of offering monetary distraction, apart from being offered to the ancestors. They are also used to request for blessings and prosperity. The incense paper differs slightly from the Joss paper, but they serve the same purpose. All right, here's what I have right here. Yep. So 10, 280 piece Chinese Vietnamese Joss paper with gold foil sized medium. All right, so this is the one that I have, which I think is really neat. All right, so this is an environmentally friendly bamboo paper. I love that. And gold foil that is best burnt as, is, as it is or after folding it to your desired shapes. It is burnt to honor the family traditions. You will commonly see them at funerals, ancestral birth dates, and festivals like King Ming, New Year or Hungry Ghost Feast. A pack contains 280 pieces of the Joss paper. So, how the Joss paper burning is done. There is no specific procedure to be followed in the burning process. However, the family partaking of the process should take time to reflect and present themselves in a sincere and respectful manner. So yeah, I think I did it right. I actually think I did it right. Wow. So you should, however, place your food or fruits on the altar or ground when you intend to appease the restless spirits. Light up your incense sticks and present your prayers or wishes in other instances. So after a few minutes and before the incense stick stops lighting, take your joss papers with both hands and present your wish. For example, pray to the dead or wandering spirit and say something like, I hereby burn the joss papers for you all. Finally, go out in the open space and burn the paper paper in metal cans. Thank God, mine was a metal, a metal dish. So, they say don't remove the speck on one person's eye when you have a log. Non-Chinese will be quick to judge these rituals or even term it uncouth. But believe it or not, the rituals do work. While there are claims that this practice is causing an environmental hazard, the people are not about to stop burning Jaws papers. The best thing is recommended to use just paper manufacturers to use materials that are environmentally friendly, which those are, so that's good. Um, one last thing, regardless of whether you are or where you are in the world, you are welcome to incorporate these rituals for your festival if you like and understand it. Alright, so that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Yeah, thank you so much. That was amazing. That was seriously so amazing. I am so happy with with those. It's just it's amazing. I mean everything is going so good. Everything's going well. And the gin is working in amazing. Yes, you guys can see how burnt the little how pink I am. <laughs> Sunburn, I forgot. It sucks. Thank you. I love, I love those. Those are amazing. And everything kind of just seems to be just really, really nice today. Like, really peaceful, calm. I love it. I love it. Everything's going well. Oh my god, I feel better than ever, ever. I'm waking up at my normal time again. Everything's my biological clock, my body and my mind are cooperating for once. <laughs> Thank you to whatever did that. But yeah, I mean, this is just really seriously incredible. So these are the, let's see, the 280 piece Chinese Vietnamese size medium, 7.3 inches by 6.5 inches new. 
so you can see the gold so it's just very neat I mean it's so cool and you get a lot I mean a lot Very, very exciting. Very exciting. But yes, the work with the gin is, I mean, it's incredible. It has been so incredible. I don't even know what to do. I mean, it's, yesterday was, it was such a good day. Um, outside all day. Which, yeah, the sun, whatever. But it was just nice, peaceful. Just doing, you know, yard work. It was actually nice. I n had to keep telling myself, reminding myself. Uh, that the the fae the fae folk the, the gnomes the sprites uh, the fairies all of them uh, appreciate all the cleaning up thank you my my darling Virgo queen thank you for giving me that in my head I had to keep thinking about it so but yeah very very nice day just calm no more drama from people on here not on YouTube but on here online and it's just it's great and I know what I'm not gonna be wearing during the summer you know how I used to always wear my uh, husband beaters that's what I like to call them hell no I looked at myself no I need to go to the gym terrible terrible but yes um, children's book I have my ideas They're f it's floating around it's gonna happen for a witchy children's book um, I'm still waiting for um, my books to arrive here and then I'm gonna send those off to you guys the ones that did order them I thought they would come today no it was better better than that Joss paper so exciting so yeah, and you can put like oil on it, money oil, and uh, to amp it up. And uh, you can put sandalwood, like uh, Naya said, like you told me, uh, sandalwood myrrh. I forgot I was gonna put myrrh on it because I have myrrh oil. Um, don't have sandalwood. Frankincense I have. It's just been amazing. I mean getting rid of certain people in my life has just been incredible. Literally incredible. So, now let's do some coffee talk. Oh, YouTube. You guys need to let me go back to my um, creator studio. Not the beta, beta one, beta. I can't maneuver uh, with that. It's it's just it, it makes me want to just like pull my teeth out holy crap you guys wow lots of wow hi thank you guys hello <laughs> thank you for all of your everything holy crap all right um, satisfy. Hi, my darling. How are you? All right, dear Ryan. <laughs> yes, I 500% agree on the things you said. Oh, oh, the false Satanist. Yeah, they just want attention. Okay. To the follow-up on Rebecca, a witness shows up over and over again who said that she saw her 6 p.m. on the date of the disappearance at the bus stop, where they both waited. Uh, she saw her that she saw her that she was talking to somebody on the phone, which would mean it wasn't her phone, since this was turned off since 8 a.m. and never used again. And Rebecca seemed normal, but nervous or weird, etc. When the bus came, she didn't go in. But the witness went into the bus and didn't think much about it. Um, other news: the hair that was found in the car was now said that the police made a mistake and it wasn't her hair. Oh. They have now a new area that they will search in because someone who lives near there said that the main suspect grew up there. And there are many spots where you could hide somebody. Ooh. 
given my pendulum result, since the street name the same street always gave signal and is actually the only street that leads to this area where they will continue and the man trailer dogs. Oh good, they have dogs. Good. Actually gives gave signals there too. Good. The main suspect still doesn't say a word even to family. Uh, Rebecca's parents won, wanted to talk to him and he said I am not allowed to say anything. It's always always the guilty one that doesn't say anything. There that refuses. Let's see what will happen sending all my love to you. I hope I hope it turns out for the better. I do. I really, really do. All my love right back to you. Oh hopefully hopefully something happens. Something good. Alright. Alright, Morgana Hornwig Horn Hornwig. I hope I did not butcher that. I'll love to hear you talk, sweetie, and some damn right. Love your hair and makeup. You're such a lovely androgynin. Oh my god. I've never been called that. Thank you. I'm powerful and yet so so and yet so sweet. I mean it. Oh my god, thank you. I've never been called an androgynin. I like that. That's that's my work here is complete. Thank you. Alright, Jody. Hi. Hi, my love. Jody Sims. Hi, my love. <laughs> Laugh my ass off. You calmly roasted their asses. Ooh. Uh, oh. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna... I don't have time. I don't want to waste my energy. Block them on all your social media platforms. Oh, yeah, they are. Uh, they shouldn't have access to you. <laughs> I love it. I have to tell you this really quick, guys. It was so funny yesterday with my hair, uh, my beautician, my hairstylist. Yes, I have a hairstylist. <laughs> she comes and she does my hair. She did me touch up, whatever I need. Uh, but yeah, she just totally shaved the back and the sides, so everything's good again. Um, but she was in line with her boyfriend and um, some very flamboyant uh, gay male. Uh, looked at her and said Is that yours and she goes yeah, that's mine and he goes oh, okay So she claimed him or if she wouldn't have claimed him that, that That guy would have snatched him up and ate him. I thought that was pretty funny though so Anyways, some people are too needy and codependent It is not your job to make them happy. No, it's not. I wish you wouldn't have shown them any kind of love. Some people don't deserve it. On a better note. <laughs> they, uh, no, they didn't deserve it. I love you so much. I love you too. We have found gins now and don't have to wonder or think about them anymore. I know, I'm so excited. I didn't put the pieces of my childhood together. Uh, until I first discovered Jin. People can become Jin. Okay, so I was right. Your mom is awesome. That song is classic. This video is great. Thank you for the commitment to share all the information you learn. I love you. So much. Alright, May Queen. Hi. Thank you for sh asking me how I am. I am well. How are you? I am really good. I'm very well. I love CBD as well, such a healing plant. For your allergies, try this. Oh, I have all kinds. All kinds. It's more natural and does not make you drowsy. I hope that helps. Thank you. Queenie Todd. I love you. You're amazing. Ruth Bask? Bescu? Oh my god, I love you. The video is so good, lol. Aw, thank you. Lily Moon. Hi, my love. How are you? How are things? I hope they are well. I do. Hello, sweetie. Uh, thank you for all that you do. You're the best. You are a true... Oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong one. I wish we were able to meet face to face. I think we would have a good friendship. You remind me of an old friend. Aw. I wish we could, too. We will. One day. Alright. Lily Moon. Hello, sweetie. Thank you for all that you do. You're the best. You're a true sweetheart. And you are the only YouTuber 
that has responded to me, actually talked with me in respect. Thank you ever so much, and love to you, and hugs, and kisses forever. Aw, you deserve it. You do. Jasper Quinzel. Black. Oh. Thank you for the reading, hubby. It's a very... Oh, did you find one, too? Or was that your reading, or did you find more info in somebody else's reading for you? If you did, amazing. And you're welcome. <laughs> Alright, Netheria Fade. Hi. So sleepy, must stay awake for this. Personal, personal responsibility keeps coming up in conversations today. Now I am just laughing because I don't think it would come up again as I was calling it in early night. Then the notification for your video popped up. Edit. Worth staying awake. The majority of those can be applied to everyone's, anyone's life. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. I agree. Fidgety ship? Is he like a witch? Yes. I am. Alright, make queen. Owl and Erna Owl Ernator? Alright, um Bitter Almonds. Jade. Dr. Stoner. Hi guys. Sheila Nagel. Um, Hand of Grace. Hello. Jesse Luna Star. Hi. Maria Renteria. Hola, Mama. Alright. Honey, I'm dead inside gaming. I want a Ouija board, but I really don't want to contact Zozo. Then don't. John Hirsch. Hello. How are you? Which of the Black Rose? Hello. Unreal Human. <laughs> Hi. Chocolate Sunday. Jessica Andrews. Uh, Diana Silva. Hi. Uh, Time Temple. Hello. Marjorie. Hi. Stand a Magic Man. Hello. Um, this and that. Hello. Rag and Rockstar. Hi. Lady Witch. Hello. Quantum Timeline, Jen Sack. I love you. Let's see. Henry Okafer, hello. How are you? And... Um, Magical Mia. Hi, my darling. How are you? Philosophy of the Stars. Hello. Um, such is life, oh my god. Soon, next month. I'm excited. Alright, I know you guys are wanting me to do a live one. I will. Anders, Angel, and Reason. Hello. Hired Ferret. Hello. Andy Apocalypse. Happy fucking Sunday. Oh, that's too bright. Um, Michael Crocker. Hello. Ian. Hello, my brother. How are you? Mr. Lee Paul. How are you? I hope you're well. Alright. Dr. Oates. Naomi C. Big shout out, Madame Sophia. Lucy, I'm not gonna butcher your name. Hello. <laughs> Big shout out. Trash Raven, hello. Uh, Kate the Witch, hi my love, how are you? It's been forever. Forever. Sue Owl, hi love, how are you? The Thorn Witch, Thorn Rose Witch, Kendra Raven, Moon, I love you. Death or Death Row. After first I was confused about the use of something of St. Michael, but I see what you are saying. Use what amulets you... Well, for example, if I work with Baphomet, I use an amulet or sigil of Baphomet. I know WW was panicking when St. Michael was mentioned. Just work with it. Yeah, nah. Nah. You can work with uh, Baphomet, St. Michael. Ask Kendra Ravenmoon, who is actually a true Satanist. Hmm. Devin Zachary. Hello. 
Erica Stone, hi. Tell Betsy Bell I said hi. Ba Raven Montero, hello. Hello, hello, Robert O'Donnell. You still have the pineapple, I love it. Giant pink pineapple. I love it. G-C-A-L-M, shout out. Um, who else? Who else? Priscilla Antonia? Hi. Shout out. Reverend Seymour Graves. Hi, Tom. How are you? Carol Grace. Hello. Ooh. Um, Crazy Gamer Moose. Why were you playing alone? You don't play with a Ouija. You use it. Because I can't. Is that a good enough answer for you? Lady and dead, uh, lady and dead, you need to get a life. Um, Steven Wold, hello, shout out. Katie Luis, hello. Um, Harvey Warhurst, um, you don't control the gin, really. You have a relationship with them. The news fluffle, hello. Are you? Kansas Ghost Stories, a box of monsters. Um, Chris, Christian Rowan, how are you? Baby Gorilla, currently wearing Target myself, so that's some tea. But there's nothing wrong with that. Matt Brooks, hello. Margarita, hi. Joseph McCarthy, hi, how are you? Uh, Draco Malfoy, hi. Rob Schaefer, hello. Lex. Alright guys, wow. Very interesting stuff. But yeah, um, when um, the books get to me, I will ship them out to you guys, sign them, ship them, and we'll be good to go. Um, what else? What else? That's it, I think. I think that's it for today. So, yep, that's all I got for today. So, I am going to enjoy the rest of my Sunday with Hayden. So, Sabrina, number two, season two. I have so many questions. I, I, I just, I can't. I can't, I can't, because the, not a lot of you have seen it, and I can't give away spoilers. So, why, why are there so many deaths? What is Sabrina? What is she really? She is powerful. She's not just a witch, something else. Why did Salem not talk when he was supposed to? What, what, in the wig, get a better wig. Please, just give us a third season and then a fourth and a fifth. But all right, guys. I love you all with all my heart. All the way from Venus. Ouch, my arms kill. All the way back down. And I will see you all tomorrow. Hopefully. I think so. So, alright guys, I love you all very much. And thank you guys for watching and being amazing people. So, I love you all. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.